it's another episode with a tease and somebody who walked away with 250,000k she chose that option and then we have somebody who has 25k maybe 25k because he was winning all of those games so will freddy <laughs> what is it about him Next question. <laughs> Welcome to another episode of Big Brother Buzz with myself, Kimono Sello. Welcome back, guys. It's another episode with the VTs and somebody who walked away with 250,000K. She chose that option. And then we have somebody who has 25K, maybe 25K, because he was winning all of those games. So, Wilfred, how are you? <laughs> I'm okay. And then we have Liema, babes. How are you? I'm good. How have you, you recovered? Yes, I did. <laughs> yes. Have you recovered? Because I spoke to you just after everything happened and you were just like, oh my God. Yeah. Oh I my was, God. I was regretting it that time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Did you did you hear the rules? No. What did you hear? I heard nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I was very anxious and nervous because of what happened to Lerato. Yeah. Like the previous week. And I was one person who didn't want the Red Bull. Like I was telling everyone in the house, Yay! The I, Red Bull. Yo, please, guys. Please. <laughs> and I got it. And when I got it, I was already crying. And then when I got there, nothing. We were watching. We, sorry, you can continue. And then I thought Biggie was saying when I hit the thing. Yeah. Then that's when I'm going to decide. Oh. Yeah. Uh, okay. So we were watching Willie Lerata and I, we literally were sitting there screaming, Le Le like it was, it was fascinating to watch. I thought you were not going to take the money mm -hmm. because I was like, she didn't go home when her grandmother passed away. Why would she go, go away? Like, you know, I felt like you had that, Yeah. you know, so you didn't want to take the money. <sighs> I, I, I saw myself in the top five. You would have been in the top five. Yeah, I I wanted to be in the top five. You would have been in the top five. Um, Wolfredi, So I reckon I'll do it. Ah no, make it serious. <laughs> make it serious. So when uh, when you got evicted, did you like? How did you feel when you got got evicted? Hey, now nah, it was cool. I was actually happy, you know. Why? Because I didn't think I would last that long in the house mm. based on. What people would say, it would sometimes get to me, you know? Like what? Like, uh, top five again, nah. Maybe said by someone, mm. and then you're like, nah, man, like, no, charity is weak. Mm. But then before you sleep, you, you think about it, you're yeah. like, ay, 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 we, we're not gonna watch Amma soon, yeah. you know? So it sometimes got to me, and I was like, at least make it to week six, man. Like, mm. then you can be proud of yourself. So seeing myself move to seven, to eight, to nine and i was like oh well, big ups my boy you, you, yo well done you can go home it's cool so i'm proud of myself and i'm happy really happy mm. i'm as happy as the person who's going to win the two million honestly because for me being in there alone is a huge milestone mm. so i'm okay when you went into the house what were your intentions on mm. going to the house what way what was your plan what did you think okay i'm going to the house to do this what was it i'm going to the house to have fun that's it. I don't yeah. want to lie. That's mm. that, that. That's the only thing I could think of. Mm. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm going to the house to, you know, open doors for me, mm. for my music. Mm. Yeah. To showcase your talent. Yes. You have a lovely voice. Thank you. Like, you have such a soothing, lovely voice. Somebody said I must ask you that, would you do I'm a piano? Like a nice I'm a piano yeah, vibe. I would. Really? Yeah. No, you sound really good. <laughs> you really yeah. would sound great. So, Jared, I'm going to start like from the big. I mean, from the beginning. No, really, no? From the beginning, you are this guy who kisses everyone. Ooh. <laughs> you're kissing everyone so what was going on there at that time what was going on i feel like the house took over yeah 
and the vibe and the hype in the house took over yeah. and it it felt it felt good it was like a norm you know mm. because we're like we're here to have fun yeah and if this is the kind of fun that you're going to have then go all out yeah yeah that's how i felt i was just having fun Mm. Mm-hmm. And your your idea of fun is kissing everyone. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> <Just husky. laughs> it's kissing everyone. Ah, that's not the case. I don't I don't even know what happened. Now that I think of it, I I can't really give you an answer. But I was just <laughs> having fun by that time. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm. And then Liema, top of the season, two weeks in, you're in a relationship. Yeah, yeah man. <laughs> I'm just asking. Top yeah. two, two weeks, you're in. You're in a relationship. Mm. So, okay, fine. What was what was communicated between you guys with the other guy? Um, uh, we didn't really title ourselves mm. as like we're dating. Mm. But um, the first few weeks, he made it clear that he wanted to be with me. Mm. And then what, what was the switch? At what point were you like, hmm? Um, What's going on? The point where he kissed people right in front of me when I told him I wanted to kiss other people, and then he said, "No, you don't. Don't kiss other people." And then he mm-hmm. did the same thing I that you, he said I, I shouldn't. I called you guys the Jareeds. <laughs> Girl, please. Because because you see, you, you saw that video when you guys are laying in bed and he kisses mm. me and he t- <laughs> yeah, so sorry, kisses you. <laughs> what like for me it's like what was going on there like in your mind was that your idea of fun was it a strategy was it a game was it oh man let me just let him do whatever he wants i think i lost feelings then yeah. so why were you still with him trying to let go mm, does it take you a while to let go uh yeah you think so? I think so. Because, I mean, the person is here. Yeah. yeah. You can't escape. Mm. Yeah. You... I saw you a few times. You were trying to, like, escape. There were yeah. times where you were like, you're like, don't ever talk to me again. Mm. An hour later, you are back. <laughs> <laughs> Would break up and then I see this person two minutes later. And, yeah, it was difficult. Yeah. I don't want to lie. Why did you... Because there was a point where I felt like you kind of isolated yourself from having other relationships with other people inside the house. Because that's why I feel like that's why it was difficult for you to move on because you didn't have another shoulder to cry on. Why did you feel, why did you isolate yourself from other people? I didn't isolate myself, um, but I was like, everyone has their own person now. Like, they've already chose. So I don't want to seem like I'm forcing myself mm. into people's circles and spaces. So let me just rather. And then whoever wants to, you know, um, hear me out and be my friend, which at the time, Mick Jr., mm. a snaye. Mm. And I was like, I'm going to stick with these two people. Mm. Mm. Yeah. And then who are your people in the house, Jerry? Who are not Wilfred? Why am I thinking of Jerry? Oh, Charlie. D. Yo, yo. Oh, oh. <laughs> <We'll pray. laughs> mm. my people in the house were the funny ones were mm-hmm. the crazy ones i'm mm. speaking your young papi yeah okay jared was looking my person because long story short apart from the drama he caused he's a funny gent yeah you know yeah he was also my guy papa ghost was also my guy although i didn't like his arrogancy yeah. and i always told him that dude you're too arrogant like mm. volume down Turn it a bit. Down. yeah but he was my guy because mm. at the back of that arrogance, there's a cool gent. You know? Yeah. So who else? I feel like Z. In the beginning, nah, me and Z didn't click. In the beginning. Yes. Mm, okay. Because her personality was just really hard to read. Mm, I I see that. Yeah, it was really hard. I but see that. eventually, yeah, we got along. And you you know what? Like when you were doing the save and replace, ne? All of us thought you were gonna see. Z. Yeah, same. Mm-hmm. Like all of us were like, "Oh no, Z is getting nah, saved." It was obvious. Yeah, yeah. Nah, and then you're like, "Jared, we like Jared." When did you guys even have a relationship? Like, why didn't you save Z? Um, because Jared was low key my coping mechanism. Yeah. Because of his jokes and whatnot, and there were days where I felt like he hasn't really go home. Mm. But then Jared just passing by. 
Kerali passing by. Option 12 yeah. daily OP. When he passes mm. and just humor and jokes, mm. I feel like I'm recharged, you yeah. know? And then I didn't save Z because it was no hard feelings. Mm. But I felt that rather my coping mechanism than my boy's girl. Because initially, Z and I were not friends. Yeah. Z was busy with Papi and Papi was my boy. So mm. automatically we know each other. Mm. And then we got to know each other at a later stage. And that's when Z and I became friends. So by that time, we were not really friends. Oh, uh, we didn't see, it didn't translate on screen. Because there was, it didn't really translate on screen. Because there was a, did it translate to you guys when you, no? Did you guys feel like they were not that close with Z? No, it didn't. It didn't translate, it didn't translate to us yeah. too. So when you say Jari, it was really weird for us. It was like, we didn't see that. Which makes sense. Yeah, we didn't see that. But there was a time where you kept like, we're not type of go in. Z can type out. Z. I I believe so. Hmm. I don't know what you guys see, but what is the problem? Oh, Why didn't you pursue her? And she her? was older than you. Why didn't you pursue <laughs> her? She's my type, but she's not my type. What's what's the point the thing that's not your type? Boo! Uh, hey, hey, you're gonna sit here and just be quiet. <laughs> Yo, I don't even know how to answer this question, but the type of person that she is, like her personality, the way she moves, mm. is not the ideal girl that I'd be like, you're mine. No. You know? But there's no hard feeling to that too. Mm. Because her looks are giving. As you would she be with my trophy wife. What they say. <laughs> See, it's really hard, but not the ideal girl I would go for. Oh, okay. Yeah. I get it. Leems. Hi. <laughs> you guys, you and Bumi had a really weird relationship. I, I right? I, I didn't get it. I was ooh. like, one day, you guys, you, you're telling Bumi that, oh, she's there, she's opening her e- for your legs for you. Next time, oh, Bumi. <laughs> Next time we're sharing a man, what like explain to me <laughs> what is your relationship with Bumi? Like how like explain it to me. <sighs> um personally, yeah. I related to Bumi's story. That's like something that I could really say. Mm. I related to her story. I felt, you know, I felt as if her background story and how she grew up really related to, you know mine Mm. or i resonated with her a lot Mm. um emotionally um foundation wise you Mm. know um but we i know we also coming from different way two different you know Mm. backgrounds Mm. but somehow i resonated with her and that's why you know i felt Mm. i felt some type of way about her like positive feelings Mm. And then at the same time, I also had my doubts. But is she, you know, feeling the same way? Mm. Um, Especially because she kept nominating you. Yes. <laughs> Even like face to face. I was like, okay, oh, but girl. But you also nominated her in the diary room. Yes, I did. Yeah. Yes, I did. So why did you nominate her though? Was why it did I nominate her? Or was it an emotional decision? Um... It was, I, I nominated everyone because of strategy, to mm. be honest, not mm. emotionally or anything. Mm. Yeah, because of strategy. Um, what was and the Bumi strategy at the time, that? and Bumi at the sorry, time, sorry. I felt like she was competition, mm. right? Because, mm. yo, she was talking, yo, mm. she would talk a lot. And I was mm. like, hey, some of us don't, <laughs> mm. <laughs> you know? Um, so I nominated her because of those reasons, not because of Jareed, Jareed or anything. Mm. Um, yeah, so Bumi, I, I I resonated with her, but also I had my doubts and but I, I still decided that I have a lot of love a lot of love to give, so I'm just gonna just like her, you know. Yeah. Regardless. And for me, like and I'm gonna ask Bumi this question as well. What is it? About Jareed. Oh. <laughs> like, what is it? <laughs> like, he's, maybe it's because he's funny, like uh, Wilfred said, but I found him sometimes when you wanted to have deep and meaningful conversation, he was just like, I'm not that guy. What is mm. it about him? 
Next question. <laughs> Would you say you had a better emotional connection with um Mac Jr. Mac Jr. Yes. I saw that it translated actually. For me, I don't know about other people. I saw that you guys had a better emotional I think he was stable for you. Yeah. Okay. So but what happened that day in the toilet with Mac Jr.? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we hugged. You went to the bathroom to hug. Yeah. Wait, Billy Valen. We have, but didn't you guys see? When you guys went to the bathroom. Can't they show like that? Weren't they showing that? No, 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 we didn't see what happened in the bathroom. I saw yeah. you guys saying, oh, I'm going to the bathroom and we and who's this? McGina had a hard on and like it was say, Oh, it's that. No, we hugged Shane. We hugged. But like, <laughs> 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 I mean, hey. it wasn't like a novel hug. Obviously, it was like a a, a more connected hug. Hmm. Like, but you it was a hug. It was a hug. But he 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 felt like he was cheating. No. Yeah. He's so cute. Oh, he man. is. Ooh, I man. <laughs> oh, and then um, I saw a picture of your best friend. And he kind of looks like McGenia. He has that resemblance to McGenia, mm-hmm. right? He does. Do they have the same personality? They do. Really? Mm-hmm. Have you spoken to him, your best friend? No, not yet. Why? <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. It's because I haven't had my phone yet. Oh. Yeah. And I don't know his number by head, so. You don't have your phone yet now? I mean, I do now. I received right, it cool. today, so cool. I'm gonna do that. Is that it? When I well, yo, really, Charlie, 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 fire, 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 fire. Wilfred, Mutaogai, where's your present? Which present? The present that you had outside. You don't have a present. Oh, she's there. They. Have you spoken to her? No, not yet. What do you think? Where do you think you are, guys? You guys are. Um, I feel like she understands me mm. and my personality. Mm. So if she really understood me when I was in mm. the house, then she was probably laughing the whole time. Mm. How old is she? Oh, <laughs> I'm just asking. Yo, really? <laughs> How old is she? She's older than me. 15 years apart? <clears throat> 45. How Less than 45. Know? Oh, she's 45? Oh, yeah. <laughs> 45. Hi, 40. Ah, we're 45. Hey, 40. Uchino chin. Oh. <laughs> oh. Uchino chin, 45, 45, 45, 45. Okay, are you 45? King, yeah. do you like the maturity or the calmness of a mature older woman? <laughs> I feel like, I feel like that, that's the same thing. Yeah, and I like that. You didn't even mention money. Thank you. Oh, no. No, because society oh, is like that, you oh. know. So thank you yeah. that you didn't even actually touch money. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. it's not even about that. Mm. But does she have money? Oh, <laughs> That's the question. <laughs> no, no, she doesn't. This we are both okay. You're both okay. Mm. Is that your Mercedes? That one we see in the pictures everywhere. <laughs> I'm just asking. Oh, oh guys the gray one <laughs> yo, yo, it's a yo. gray it's silver gray it's matte black it's matte black Kiko by Lee. Barnabas give him a shout out Kiko by Lee. it's not mine get one next door Maga what is that Maga don't lie to me do not lie to me okay <laughs> Gwang. so um, when I'm going to ask you two more questions about Jared because I also feel like. Yeah, please. Yeah. Thank you. So, <laughs> when you guys left things with Jared, me, where were you guys? Like, in terms of, are we cool? Are we still talking? Are we. When? When he left the house. Were you happy though? I was. <laughs> I was very happy. You saw me dancing, right? And McJunior was like, ah, don't dance, don't dance. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> oh. Did she say, cha, cha. 
That was the happiest day of my life. <laughs> I swear. <laughs> George was that. Um, no, we were, we were broken up. Mm. Yeah. Would you guys? Would you say you guys were dating? Would you say Jared was your man? Yo, sometimes. Mm. It depends on who is he with me. <laughs> who is he with me? Like in terms of like, it depends who is he. Yo, English. <laughs> <laughs> Blue, it yeah. depends where he is because when you're not around it's a little awkward because he's kissing everyone and lying to Ew, you. next. <laughs> hey, man. Nice. You know, like, let me tell you, there was a point where you were at the po- in the party room, right? And when you're in the party room, um, Al's left, Jerry left. And then you said to the panther, I just want to see because the panther wouldn't want to. What did you want to see? Yeah, you, I don't remember that. You don't? Mm-mm. Because it, it for me, it's like, it's almost as if you wanted proof that this guy's a douchebag. But, I mean, he kind of is. Yeah. And you knew it. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Okay. okay, my love. <laughs> <laughs> You're so cute. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah, but you kind of knew. Um... But at least you have 20, 20, 250k. Yeah. Would you have t- taken it? Duh. I mean, it's not that obvious. She she didn't want to take it. Mm. No, then. Uh, don't put it like that. She's also now. confused. That's the thing. Don't put it like that. You, you know, know, guys, I did trust my, I Not like, I did trust myself. Mm-hmm. Like, I wanted to be in the top five. You mm-hmm. did. You know? You did. So... Was it going to be a dumb decision? Maybe, maybe not. But I, I, I want to say this. I wouldn't have taken it not personally because I was going to make that dumb decision because I was just going to be like, I came here with nothing. So leaving here with nothing, we're really not going to change anything. With, you know what I mean? So, but I think you made the best decision with the information that you knew mm-hmm. and what you heard before. <laughs> yes. You know what I mean? So I feel like don't beat yourself up. Yeah. Don't do that. And also apparently people were planning to give me a third strike, so. Oh, who's that? Jared? Jared D? Eh, Willy. You're lying. <laughs> Are you, you planning on... Ah, uh, uh, she's lying. Uh, <laughs> I'm uh, joking. Uh, she's lying. I'm joking. You are not. Apparently, it was young puppy and Z and Jared and else and Lerato. So it was like six people, five. Who said that? <sighs> the, you were listening A little to social bird. Media. A little bird told me. You listen no, to but someone, media? even like, in my family members. Uh, but in the beginning of um, of Big Brother, you and Sinai had a conversation in the kitchen. You remember that conversation? Mm-mm. The, in the conversation, you guys were basically planning around C. You were saying that Sinai must enter C and play Z. Why, why, why was that? Snaya at the time was feeling like really where he felt as if relationships were winning, right? Oh. So yeah. he felt pressured to, you know, pursue something. Mm. And countless times I will tell him, but you know what, ne? play your individual game, but he'll still persist on. Yeah. You know, maybe it wouldn't be a problem doing this and that. And I was mm. like, Z, you know, Z. Mm. Why Z? Z is beautiful. Mm. And they looked good together. Mm. And it was not my intention to say play Z. What was your intention? But I guess I did say so. <laughs> <laughs> but play Z. Because also I felt like Z was not, like he was not, she was never going to be in, in fully because there was yeah. also a young puppy. Mm. And she also had her own wandering eyes. So my intention was don't fully be in, but mm. just just get to know the girl, you know? Yeah. yeah. Patunga's fuck. Yeah, don't fuck at yourself, because <laughs> Z is dangerous. Hey. Yeah. Hey. yeah. I don't know why people are so scared of Z. That's just why if you like, I will you know said the that she really I think so care. too. I, I, feel, I feel like she's yeah, she's shy and nonchalant. Like mm. it's a mixture. Mm. But at the time, Kalogu did not understand her. Mm. Mm. Yeah, well, she was always on some. And she spoke low, and whatever she was speaking, it was dangerous. It was mm. not like, 
it was not innocent or whatever. Do so. you feel like Z would like throw a bit, a bit of shade or side comments when she spoke sometimes? Yes, yeah. I I felt like she didn't like me too. Mm. Yeah. Oh, you didn't like her? No, I liked her, but oh, okay. I felt as if she didn't like me. Back. Mm. I feel like you guys would have made like such a bomb sistership. Yeah, I really think you guys would have made such a bomb. I think you guys, both of you maybe let your ego you didn't guys sit down and be like you know what's going on man oh, mm-hmm. you know what i mean like what what's this like you know i think you guys let your pride do that mm. for you but mm-hmm, what's going on so when you had a conversation with i remember Lerato pushed you into having boundaries you remember that boundary conversation you oh, had oh shit <laughs> <laughs> Lerato was such a bad advisor. Yeah. She was terrible. I told her what she was saying. I was like, you're terrible. Yeah. Okay. Don't do that. <laughs> okay. And then you go, you sit down with Pumpumi. Why are you having a conversation with Pumpumi about boundaries? But it was Lerato and Pale, actually. Oh, yes. Both of them. Mm. And... Yeah, I mean, like, as I listen to them, because they're older than me and they know better. <laughs> and now I'm in a situation, you know? Yeah. And um, I felt at the time it was, like, a good advice. Yeah. Maybe the guy needed to, like, boundaries, or mm. they needed boundaries, or they mm. needed to hear me say boundaries. Mm. That's how I felt at the time. When Bali was here, she said she didn't say you must go to Mpumi. She said you must go to... Uh, Jareed. Nah, she's lying. Mm. Cause and then Bumi was just like, "Hey, when Yana Pitero was just out, I was just like, this is awkward. This it was one of the most awkward conversations ever. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> it was yeah. so awkward. Must Lili- have been. By the way, now oh, obsessed, obsessed with Liema. And then you're obsessed <laughs> with Yolanda. How huh? so did my talk? Obsessed, eh? Eh, but it's obsessed. On the questions that I kept getting, why is Willie really obsessed? Why is Willie really obsessed? I said, hey, we're not obsessed, man. But okay, fine. Why, why are you, you looking at me? Why do you nominate her Yolanda all the time? And Because Lee, I hated yeah. her noise. Yeah. And I told her, and she understood that I didn't hate her, but the noise she would make at the wrong times that's the thing we're trying to sleep and you're making noise but during the day or in the club or wherever i, I didn't mind at all but yeah that's but the where the thing. kisses nice though i mean rachel can you rate your kisses who was the better kisser <laughs> it's her really mm-hmm. hey! <laughs> don't you reminisce <laughs> Oh, really? She, yeah, I didn't hate her. I only hated the noise that she made. And she's a beautiful woman. Yeah, I she hate her. Is. She was here on Friday. She's so gorgeous. Mm, she she's is. gorgeous. She is. But in that person, both of you, if I was there in that house, I probably would have punched her for that noise. Because even when I was like, when we were watching TV, I was like, oh my God. And when you're on TV, imagine yo, me in the kitchen yo. trying to think about life. I was life. like, oh my God. <laughs> oh, that's the only thing. But then Liam, why would they say I was obsessed? But, but when are you were nominating her all the time? Did I tell you why? Mm-mm. Because tell she us. was always slow and l- l- acting like a last born. A sense of urgency. That's not Zero. sense of urgency. Even now. Should I call you last born? No. Please. No. <laughs> I know she doesn't like it. Hence, <laughs> I never called her last born. Yeah. But she was called last born because of such things. And... That's the only thing. Apart from that, there's no beef or anything. Mm, you, Naye, and Yolanda. The crew that doesn't... Lazy like crew. <laughs> lazy crew. <laughs> yeah, you get So it's small things. Oh, man, my but word. The twisting of words. You guys are acting Ooh. as if you're paying bills in that house. Oh, you see? <laughs> I see? I <laughs> it's just the twisting of words from people that can make a small thing seem like... Such a big thing. Yeah. It would be like, I hate Liam. Come on, mm. man. No. But you know, like I tell people all the time when they come here, I say to them, the house is the house. Two million it makes people very different. Mm. And being con- being like in one space the whole time. And you were right about saying that I'm only going to see people's personality when I leave mm. the house. 
I think that was actually the right mentality. So for me, I wouldn't say you must take all the things, all the fans say about other people. Because a lot of fans have a lot of influence, to be honest, and True. say, oh, this one, this one. Even the family, because they were emotionally invested. invested you know what I mean? So I just feel like, hey, guys, sometimes you need to just reevaluate, sit back, and then, you know. I get it, but there's still people I wouldn't hang out with. Like same, who? Even same. Like I'm who? Not, and I'm not named Rokin. Okay? Who? Who, who, no, who? maybe ask who are we gonna hang out with yeah. instead of. Okay, who are you going to hang out with? <laughs> Lerato? Mm. Lerato? Liam. Why are you looking at me? <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, Lerato, no? Okay, tell me, who would you hang out with? Okay, give me three people. My cake. Mm hmm. Young Bob. Mm hmm. Sinai. And I feel like. Sinai automatically goes to Liam. I feel like they live in one place. Mm. And hence I said, me and, Lile- me and Liema, we're not close, but there's zero beef. And yeah. we can even work together or do anything together because mm. there was no beef. But mm. I distanced myself from her because of the jury situation, honestly. And I, I told her that Why? it's just that because I, when people are in love and are in loving, mm. I don't Wang. like disturbing for me. Okay, when potato, people, pota- when, when, tomato, when pe- tomato, tomato. Yeah, Ooh. when people are bees, yeah. I don't like interrupting them. Mm. And yeah, that's it. That's why you didn't move to Larata, ne? You understand me, Leah, Mani? <laughs> <laughs> I understand you, but I heard something else. Tell me. What did you hear? That you liked me and then you asked to read if um, you should uh, give me give me space or whatever. Apparently you guys had that conversation. What do, you, what do you mean give you space? Like, stop pursuing me. Okay, one thing about me, I don't need validation from anyone. Okay. Yeah, and I feel like... I just heard. Yeah, <laughs> and I feel like... Who, who, who told you that? Jerry? No, I haven't talked to Jerry. Oh, okay. No, I thought it was inside the house. Okay, and then... um. I am going to do what we call fan questions. These are questions from... The fans and the people who like you and maybe don't like you, okay? Mm. All right. Okay. Um, this is a question for Liema Olwe to Z six. Ne, when is new music coming out and who does she want to collaborate with? Um, I love that question. I love it too. I love it. Um, music. I'm planning on like working on my music immediately when, you know, everything is settled. So mm. they should give me a month or at least two. Who would you like to collaborate with? And I would like to collab with. Yeah, I mean, I'm delusional, ne? No, me delusional. <laughs> but like, I would like Tyler. Mm. I would like uh, Uncle Waffles. Mm. I would like. Uh, who else, Gonje? Um, yeah, just a lot of you know creatives in different spaces. Mm. Um, I think yeah. from your mouth to God's ears. Mm-hmm. Yes, mm-hmm. Amen. 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 Mm. And then another question for Liema is, um, this is from Ghost Family. Her comments on how Mbumi only looks good with makeup on, and why did she say that? Did you say that? Do you remember it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just asking. Oh my god. Yeah, I did say that once. Okay, why did you say that? <laughs> I was being mean. <laughs> yes. I was being mean. I love that you're being honest. <laughs> and then <clears throat> this is um King of Voth Rocks. Voth Rocks asks. Liema, how she feels knowing that there is so many people that saw her true the true her, a pure hearted firecracker that held held no grudges and co- complete uh, capable of forgiving it anything. Hey me, why did you forgive everything? <laughs> uh, <laughs> there were times where I'm like You are judging me, ne? <laughs> hey girl. Don't Why? worry, more self-love. You know, you know what it is there? Your fans were so stressed. 
Because they were like, oh, no, don't mm. do it. Yeah. Not again. You know, but how do you feel about your flat fans? Do you know your your stance, what they na- their names are? Yes. No, tell me. what, are, what are they? Lily's Legends Lee Flames. Yay. You have Una Lily. Do you know yours? <laughs> 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 so uh most of the questions are really linked to Liema. That's cool. cool. And why are you obsessed with Liema? No, oh, okay, I'm not obsessed. <laughs> and Yolanda. I can't go. You're not obsessed. Oh, um and then um tell me about your brand. What what brands do you want to work with? Which you like to work with? But Really? Definitely. Is it because it's from Pretoria? Not really, but Batu is my style. Yeah. And I rep Batu 24-7. Yeah. And the shoes are really comfortable. Really? And stylish. And you can wear them with formal clothes too. Those semi-formal. you used to wear in the house. Yes. Oh, they're very nice. Casual. Oh, the... And mm. yeah, definitely Batu. Mm. And then I'm also into skincare. So. You look like, you really look nice on camera. Like your skin looks like it was glowing. Yes. 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 <laughs> 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 so I'm also moving into that direction because I'm a type of I type Ah, thanks, go. I was playing as jokes. Jokes, <laughs> jokes everywhere. <laughs> Joke, it's just jokes in here. It's just jokes. Okay, guys. Future plans, future plans, Liema. Let's start with you. My future plans. Um, promoting more self love. <laughs> Keep PR answering. That's a PR answer. Yeah. Like, no, tell them all the self love. Mm-hmm. PR. A PR answer. Like, did what? we get PR? Uh uh-uh. uh. No. What are you saying about Petunia? <laughs> She's doing PR. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> I didn't get any of that. Okay. But yeah, promote more self love, um, more music, mm. and also venturing on, you know, some skincare, also business. Mm. Um, probably have my own range, mm. perfumes. You guys saw I'm really good at smelling. Mm. Mm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, perfumes. Mm-hmm. Um, for now, that's about it. Mm. That's all that I have in mind. Wilfred, are you going back to the mines or are you, or are you coming here into the industry? It's not nice, is it? I would love to get an opportunity to like venture in the industry mm. and yeah, work with brands, yeah. as Liam just mentioned. And since Yana, she's thinking starting her own brand, I already know she has an ambassador, which mm. is me. So, hey, um, but no. so we're moving to the top right? so, thank you sweetheart <laughs> <laughs> so we're moving to the top and yeah long story short I started logistics and I still want to be in logistics mm. yeah and now you can do your own company of logistics and mm. just live your life mm-hmm. thank you manifest hey, man. manifest mm-hmm. thank you so much for if for coming and just like gracing us with your presence. It was really like you guys gave us a really good time with your dance moving with your voice, you know? Thank and you. you gave, let me tell you, you gave content. You gave every emotion day. <laughs> man. And See, I'm all shy. You, yes, yes. Shy you gave every emotion day. <laughs> and I don't think you have anger issues, if I'm being honest. I don't think. Thank I think you. Were, I don't think you do. I just think you are. <laughs> Yo, 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 Thank yo, you. Yo. <laughs> I think you were easily as triggered. As my, yes. I think you were easily triggered. I was. And you're probably not used to having so many people in your space. Yeah, mm-hmm. true. That, that's a yeah. different story. Guys. Yeah. Ooh. So, yeah. And thank you so much for watching uh, Big Brother Bus. Sorry. Sorry. Let me take it from the top. Yo. Six Nation Dance Move. Hey, Banna. <laughs> oh, yes. I'm not gonna ask you. I'm not gonna ask you to do it now. But like, where did you get it? Um, <laughs> I got it from my siblings. <laughs> yeah, like my cousins. When <laughs> are you when so serious? We, when you do it, <laughs> when you we give it all your dancing own. and just 
being crazy. Yeah. Actually, me and my cousins applied. All of us applied for Biggie, yeah, mm. but I was the only one who went through. Mm. But all of them also have like big personalities. Yeah. So when we all just dancing, we we'll just do crazy dance. I create our own dances. Yeah. So that was one of the dances that I've created. Yeah. Um, and then we've you know we do with my cousins and stuff. Yeah. So one question, and I didn't ask you a question, and I think it's important. Why didn't you leave when you found out your grandmother passed away? Oh, I wanted to leave. Mm. Um, but then again, my family um, um, sent a message back to Big Brother mm. that I shouldn't, you know, decide to leave because everything is well back at home mm. and that I'm doing well and I should continue mm. playing my game. And And how was it for you to be like in the house and have somebody that's sure. very close to you? like leave the house i don't know how you did it it was very difficult guys mm. it was i don't want to lie emotionally yeah i needed someone <laughs> but yeah yeah we could tell i don't know how you did it i wouldn't i wouldn't no. yeah I don't know. So thank you so much, guys. Thank you so much for coming here and gracing us with your presence. I know it's not easy. Yeah. How's the interview for you guys? I'm it enjoying was nice. it. It was yeah. very nice. I was actually scared at first. Because I thought same. you were going to ask me like, a yeah. question. And then you see, when your friends are going to come to my timeline and say, I was so hard on you and I was, <laughs> I, was I didn't do this, I didn't do that. Why did I ask that question? You yeah. Know I mean? But it's okay. You know how to handle this. Okay. Thank you so much, so much for watching Big Brother Buzz with myself, Kimula Selo. And if you want to hire or rent a studio, Come to 360 Studios. We'll have all the details at the bottom, right? We'll have all the details. So you can come and just hang with us or maybe just view the space. And yeah, please like, comment, subscribe. And yeah, comment below. But it's okay. <laughs> See you next week. Finally, with the same people, with the crew. Yay! Go, 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 it was too much to worry. 360. It was time, you Uh huh. It was too much to worry. 360. Uh huh. It was too much to worry. 360. It was time, you Uh huh. It was too much to worry. 360. Uh huh. It was too much to worry.